Continuing forward with the theme that we began to explore last week of the driverless car. In the language of mind, the language of the subconscious, the language of dreams, a car shows up as a symbol for the physical body. For the same as the conscious mind uses the form of an automobile to get around and do things, the inner self, maybe we could call the soul, sees the form of the physical body vehicle serving the same function to get around and do things in this world. And I have known the experience of the driverless car in my own self, as I can only imagine every man and woman has. It's the state of being unconscious, just unconscious. It's the experience of being the vehicle itself perhaps victim to the highway and all the other cars around it. Influenced by all the things that are there to influence us, whether it's a personality design or astrology or cultural influences or familial conditioning from your family growing up, all these influences and we're just operating unconsciously, often victim to everything around. And the moment that we become conscious, the moment that we become aware that we are not in the driver's seat, that we are being unconscious, is the very moment that we become conscious. Every time I've become more conscious, the first thing I'm aware of is how unconscious I've been. And in that very same moment where we recognize we've been unconscious and we become conscious, we're in the driver's seat. And we're at choice point. Now there's enough awareness to recognize I'm not just the car having this experience of life with other cars on a highway, I have choice. I can speed up and change lanes. I can take the next exit. I can slow down and pull over. I can set my cruise control. I can change the radio station. I can shift gears. I have all these things available to me that before were just unconscious, habitual operation, reactivity because I wasn't driving the car. It's on automatic pilot. And I see a three-phase progression in this metaphor, an evolution, if you will. The first is we all are, go through life at parts unconscious. And the next phase is we wake up to become conscious, recognize we have choice in how we navigate through life. But the third phase makes all the difference. That's when we access what's being called the inner guidance system. When you turn on the GPS mapping of spirit. And this can be called Jesus take the wheel. Or God in the driver's seat. It's when we're able to perhaps cut out the distractions and the busy thinking and hear that always present, still small voice of guidance from spirit that just like a GPS can see way more than what we can see outside the windshield. It's aware of every closed road, the quickest route from here to there. And if we listen to it, it will guide us divinely even perhaps guiding our actions and our words so that we're able to navigate life to the greatest efficiency for the greatest service 
to bring forth the greatest love through our vehicle on the road of life. And when we achieve that, thy will may be done. Because it's the inner guidance system that delivers to us the awareness of thy will as we tune into and listen and follow that guidance. So may we each move through the progression as evolution has designed. We become more conscious. And then we become conscious of the spirit within. And let that guide us.